hello friends thank you so much for clicking this video my name is susan this is a continuation of the previous video where we drafted this elegant uh, dress that you're looking at on the screen in today's tutorial we'll be focusing on the sewing aspect if you have not seen the part one i'll leave the link down in the description box below let's proceed here i have all my panels cut on my fabric okay so let me show you the upper part i cut one piece each one piece on the main fabric one piece on the lining so here's the front this one will go together so i added seam allowances half an inch all through here then here also half an inch then here this is the side front i added one inch here half an inch then this one that will overlap also i added half an inch here 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 then one inch here because that is the side front also okay so now i'm going to notch the that so i will know where to fold when i'm stitching it i'm notching both the main fabric and the lining together so i'll just put small cuts there to help me when i'm stitching okay moving to the skirt part of the front here i have it i cut one piece each on the main fabric and also on the lining then reduce the length of the lining by two and a half inches all right then i added all the necessary same allowances here this is the wider part of the front i reduced the length also by two and a half inches then i added half an inch here as a seam allowance then up here half an inch here half an inch then here the side i added one inch here also this is a side one inch here half 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 then the hem i added one and a half and i did the same thing here also I'm going to set this one aside for then this wider part of the front skirt we're going to notch those uh, spaces or we place small small cut so i will be able to identify it when we're sewing we'll be able to know where to fold or where to pleat remember we spread it by one and a half inch so i'll be notching the spaces one and a half inch i hope you are getting it i'll notch them on both the main fabric and the lining I'm going to start this stitching from this upper part of the front. I'm going to set this aside, then work on this side first. We want to join it together. To join it together, you can see that this part of the front, this side is more concave than the other. So, and I've already marked my seam allowance. So, what I'm going to do now for easy sewing is to, I'm going to place angle cuts. I'm going to cut it very close to the seam allowance, like two millimeters close to the seam allowance. So it will be easy to join them together. So I'm cutting both the lining and the main fabric angle cuts like so. With these angle cuts, the curve will be more relaxed and it will be easier to stitch together. So I'm going to place it on each other like this main fabric on main fabric. Then I'm going to start the stitching from the bottom. I'll stitch on half an inch, that's the seam allowance, and I'll do the same on the lining also. Here it is after stitching down. So the next thing now is to snip the other part. I'm going to place my small angle cut on it, then I'll do the same to the lining also. Moving to this part of the front, we are going to hold our pleats. Remember the notch area, so we're going to fold it. I'll fold it towards the center front like this. I'll fold on the main fabric towards the center front to pleat. Then I'll stitch it down. I'll just use the stitch to hold it down. Then I'll do the same to the lining also. I'm done stitching both the main fabric and the lining. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place right side facing right side. I'll just set it right side facing right side like this. Then I'm going to stitch on half an inch like so. All right then this part of the front also i'm going to place right side facing right side like this then i'm going to stitch on half an inch then i'll also do the same to the armhole i'm going to stitch on half an inch like like this then i'll be right back i'm done stitching what i want to do now is to notch it very close to the seam so that it will be easier to place my under stitch To under stitch, I'm going to pack the seam to the lining side and I'm going to place a stitch very close to the joining. I will do the same to this other side also. 
here I have it under stitch. If you want, you can actually reduce the seam allowance so that it will be flatter. Okay, so what I want to do now is to stitch the neck area. So I'm going to turn it right side, facing right side, like this. Then I'm going to stitch on half an inch at the neck area, half an inch. Then afterward, I'll snip, then under stitch as much as possible. Then to this other side also, I've not done the armhole. So what I'm going to do now is to turn right side to right side like this, then stitch on the armhole. Then after snip, then under stitch as much as possible. All right, so I have them stitch, snip, and under stitch as much as possible. So now I'm going to turn it inside down to the two. Then I'll take it to my ironing table and iron flat. Moving to the skirt part, I'm going to remove my pattern. Remember the spaces that will notch the one and a half inch that we use to spread it. So I'm going to fold it from one notch to the other like this. One notch to the other. The pleat, I'm going to fold it upward and I'm going to have five pleats. Then afterwards, I'm going to place my stitch to hold it down. Then I'll do the same to the lining also. I'm done stitching the pleats, okay? I did the same to the lining also. Then this other part of the front, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it together, right side facing right side like this. Then I'm going to stitch on half an inch. I'm going to stop at where the slit opening is starting from. I'll do the same to the lining also. I'm done stitching and I went ahead and iron open for neat finishing on both the lining and the main fabric. I'm going to keep it aside first. Moving to the back, I'll take it to my sewing machine, stitch the dart on both the main fabric and the lining. I'm done stitching the dart on the lining and the main fabric. Okay, here I have it. So I'm going to place the main fabric together. I want to fix the zipper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them together like this. Leave the zipper open like maybe one inch below the hip line. Then I'll stitch it on the seam allowance down. Then afterward, I'll fix the zip. Then I'll be back. I'm done fixing the zipper. I'll cut the excess off, then I'll stitch it at this edge so that it will not lose. The next thing now is to attach the lining to the zipper side. To do this, I'm going to unzip first. You know, the zipper allowance is one inch, okay, and it's overlapping under one inch. That makes two inches. Because the lining is cut uh, the same shape as the main fabric, I'll need to reduce it at the zipper side. So this is how to reduce uh, the lining because I'm going to attach the lining to the main fabric by half an inch, half an inch on the lining, half an inch on the main fabric. That's one inch. Okay. So I'm going to minus it from the two inches we calculated earlier. That is the one inch seam allowance overlapping under one inch. That's two inches. So I'll minus the one inch seam allowance that I want to use to join it together from the two inches. So I'll be left with one. That means I'm going to reduce the lining by one inch at the zipper side okay i've marked the one inch i want to cut off from the zipper side of the lining so i'll just cut it off on both sides i'm going to take the main fabric now then i'm going to place the lining on it at the zipper side right side facing right side I'm going to place like this and I'm going to stitch on half an inch from here down. I'm going to leave about two inches down at the lining. So I'll have room to hem the bottom. Then I'll do the same to the other side of the lining also. Stitch from the zipper side up, then leave about two inches down. I'm done stitching it together and here it is. All right. And at the bottom, I eventually left more than two inches, so it will be easier for me to roll to stitch the hem, like I said earlier. You see it as we progress. So the next thing now here at the neck area, I'm going to overlap it right side facing right side at where this teeth is at. That's why I'm going to turn it like this. Then I'm going to stitch on half an inch like this. Okay. Then moving here also, I'm going to do the same at the teeth side here. I'm going to turn it right side facing right side, then I'm going to stitch on half an inch like so. Here I have a stitch. I'm going to place small, small cut, as I go cut. Okay, I'll cut it like this. Then I'll reduce here this zipper side. I'll reduce it so it will not be bulky by the time I turn it inside out. 
I'll do the same here. I'm going to snip it, then I'll reduce the zipper side so it will not be bulky. The next thing is to understitch. I'm going to pack the seam to the lining side, then I understitch as close as possible to the joining. All right, then I'll do the same to the other side also. I'm done with the understitching and I went ahead and reduced the seam allowance a little so it will not be bulky here. I'm turning it inside out. I'll do the same to the other side also. Next, we want to stitch the shoulders. Okay, so we're going to overlap this. The one with the pleats is going to overlap. It's going to be at the top. We overlap the shoulders like this right then i'm going to place the shoulder the right side will be facing the front like this right side facing right side and i'm going to turn the lining to the back this way that means lining face lining main fabric face main fabric okay i'm going to turn it this way then i'm going to stitch on half an inch to join the shoulders together I'm done stitching the shoulder, so now we want to stitch the armhole before turning it inside out. You know, it's a mono strap, so we only have one uh, armhole here. So I'm going to stitch on half an inch. I'm done stitching the armhole, and I went ahead and snip. Now I'll turn it inside out. Okay, then after turning, I'll try as much as possible to under stitch on the armhole area. I'm done under stitching the armhole of the back. Now I'm going to open the front armhole like this, and I'll also open the back armhole. I'm going to place them right side facing right side, main fabric facing main fabric like this. Then I'm going to stitch on the same allowance, which is one inch. I'll just stitch from one end to the other. I'm done stitching the side. Now I'll take it to the ironing table, then iron it open flat. For neat finishing. Now I want to stitch the cutout of the front, the side cutout. And to do that, please pay attention. Just watch what I do. All right. So from the side seam now, I'm going to turn it. This side seam, I want to turn the cutout, the front cutout. I'm going to turn it this way. Just watch the way I'm turning it. Right side facing right side, like this. I'm going to set it this way. And I'm going to stitch from the side seam on half an inch. From the side seam, half an inch here. Okay, then I'll be back. I'm done stitching the cutout of this upper part of the front. Okay, now I want to turn it inside out. Then I'll stitch the cutout at the back, the side cutout at the back. Okay, so now I've turned it. Now from the side seam now, I'm going to stitch the cutout here. Also, I want to seal it. I'm going to stitch on half an inch. I'm going to turn it right side facing right side from the side seam. Okay, just watch closely the way I'm turning it. Right side facing right side. I'm going to place it like this. Then I'm going to stitch from the side seam half an inch. Like so. I'm done stitching the cutout at the back. Okay, now I'm going to place my angle cut very close to the seam so that by the time I turn it, it will lay flat. After the cut, I'll turn it inside out. So here it is looking relaxed. I'm going to do the same thing to the front. We're getting there okay the upper part of the front is going to overlap each other like this all right now let's move to the other side we want to stitch this cut out we're going to follow the same process we did to the other side we first stitch the side seam then afterward we stitch the cut out 
on the side same i'm going to place right side facing right side like this then i'm going to stitch on one inch that's the side same allowance like this i'm done fixing the side same okay i'm basically going to do the same thing with it to this other side so i'm going to turn the front from the side same half an inch then i'll do the same to the back the cut out at the back of this side then i'll be back all right so i'm done stitching the other side looking nice look at it all right so now uh, we want to move to the down part of the front that's the skirt part so we set this aside and move to the skirt part of the front i'm going to place them right side facing right side like this then i'm going to stitch the cut out the side cut out on half an inch like this like this I'm done stitching and I went ahead and snip it. Okay, at this point, if you want, you can under stitch it for later finishing. All right, so what I'm going to do now is this I want to insert this upper part of the front. So I'm going to set it like this, place them together. I can actually use your stick to hold it. But okay, just watch the way I'm going to fix it. I'm going to use my pin to hold it together. setting it okay then i'm going to place the right side to face the right side i'm going to insert it in like this right side facing right side this is the waist side all right then i'm going to stitch on half an inch set it very well then i'll place my stitch like this here it is i'm done stitching I'll turn it inside out. Look at it, looking really, really nice. Okay, now I want to finish the side seam, the front and the back. So I'm going to open it up like this. That this is where the cutout stops. This is the back. I'm going to open it like this. Also, I'm going to place the front and back together, right side facing right side. The main fabric on the same side, lining on the same side. Then I'm going to stitch, I'll align it like this. I'm going to stitch on the same allowance, which is uh, one inch. I'm going to start from here, one inch down, then from here, one inch down. I'll do the same to the other side also. I'm done stitching the two sides, okay? Looking nice. So the next thing I want to do now is the hem, the lining. I'm going to roll it twice, then I'm going to stitch it. Roll it like this twice, then I'll stitch it. Then this zipper side, I'm going to finish this stitching. Just right side facing right side, then I'll stitch it. I'll finish it up on half an inch. I'll do the same here. After stitching the hem of the line, now I want to stitch the slit opening. Please pay attention to the way I'm going to turn it. So from this midpoint, I want to turn it right side facing right side. Yes, like this. Then I'm going to pull over like this. Okay, I'm getting it. I'll match it up the midpoint to midpoint like this. Then I'm going to stitch on half an inch like this. Then I'll do the same to the other side. I'm done stitching, looking nice. So what I need to do now is just to take it to my ironing table and press it for neat finishing right then afterward i'm going to the bottom i'm going to fold it on one and half upward like this because the hemming allows the one and half then roll half inward at the edge i can either hem it with my needle or i'll stitch it down All right then i'll give it a good press then wear it on my dress form for you to see and here it is friends looking really really nice thank you so much for watching till the end please don't forget to support me by subscribing give it a thumbs up you can also hit the notification bell so as to get notified when i upload new videos you can also leave your comment down below till i come your way again bye for now